Welcome to Yo Mama Said What? This week, we're going to be talking about getting baptized. Our key verse is 2 Corinthians 5.17, and it says, If anyone belongs to Christ, there is a new creation. The old things have gone, everything is made new. Today, we're going to be talking about the who, what, when, why, and how about baptism. Who? Who should get baptized? If you're a follower of Jesus, you should get baptized. If you become a part of God's family, if you have decided to follow Jesus and do what he says, then you should get baptized. What? What is baptism? Baptism is a symbol. When God comes into your life, he cleans out all the bad junk in your heart. I can't see that in you, and you can't see that in me. Because we can't see that in each other, we use baptism as a symbol to show everyone that we are a part of God's family. It's like a wedding ring. My wedding ring is a symbol to other people that I am married. Baptism doesn't make you a part of God's family. It's just a symbol to show others that the junk in your heart has been cleaned out and you are a new person, a new creation, and a part of God's family. When? When should you get baptized? After becoming a part of God's family. We should have a talk with our parents and tell them everything we know about baptism and ask them to get baptized. If they agree, then you go get baptized. If they tell you to wait, they're your parents, so it's important to obey them. Was that it? That was easy. Why? Why do we get baptized? for two reasons. The first, I need you to open your Bible to Matthew 3, 13 through 17. Once you get it, raise your hand up and say, got it, and your teacher will give your team points. You have 30 seconds, go. Matthew 3, 13 through 17 says that Jesus went to the Jordan River and asked John the Baptizer, or John the Baptist, to baptize him. But John didn't want to baptize Jesus. He said, why do you come to me to be baptized? I should be baptized by you. Jesus told him that it had to be done that way because God wanted it to happen that way. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he came up out of the water and the heavens opened up and he saw God's spirit coming down him like a dove. And a voice from heaven said, this is my son who I love, and I am well pleased with him. The second reason we get baptized is because Jesus told us to. Matthew 28, 19, Jesus said, go and make followers of all people in the world. Baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Teach them everything I have taught you, and I will be with you always even until the end of the world. Why do we get baptized? Because Jesus was baptized, and he told us to do the same. Where? How? Where do we get baptized? We get baptized in water. So make sure you bring a pair of swimming trunks and a towel so you're ready to get baptized. How do we get baptized? Well, we go completely into the water and come right back out again. So I'm gonna show you my special baptism move. 
I want everybody in the room to take your hand like this. Like you're ready to pin something. Show it to your team leader. Show it to your neighbor. Now look back at me. Here we go. I want you to plug your nose like this, okay? I want you to take your other hand. I go like this. Let's take that from the beginning, you ready? Take your hand like this, plug your nose, take your other hand, go like this. Now I'm gonna ask you a question like, are you a part of God's family? And you have to say, yes, yes I am. So try that with me. Are you a part of God's family? And you're gonna take like this. And then I'm gonna say something like, I now baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And then I'm gonna dunk you in the water. Check this out. part of God's family, then the next step is to get baptized. So what I want you to do today is I want you to go talk to your parents, tell them what baptism is, and tell them that you're ready. If they say yes, then go get baptized. If not, we're going to hold off and wait. They are your parents. But baptism is such an important part to show other people that God is a part of our life. So let's bow our heads, close our eyes, and let's talk to God. As I pray, I want you to pray too. Prayer is just a conversation we're having with God. Dear God, we thank you that you come into our lives and you make all things new. You have cleaned us out. We are no longer the old creation. Something new has been made. So God, I thank you that we can get baptized to show other people that we are a part of your family. And then we can continue on and show other people and other people and other people through our words and our actions. So God, help today be our step of showing other people that we are a part of your family. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now I want you guys to find your team leaders and you guys are going to talk a little bit more about baptism.